It's hard for me to fathom that another season is almost gone, but time stops for no one. The biggest talking point this season continues to be the weather. We have had unseasonably warm weather, and while most talk about climate change, it would almost appear that we are experiencing climate shift. Earlier in the season, spring shifted into summer, and now it seems summer has shifted into fall. Despite the weather, Jim and the crew continue to harvest, and we only have a little bit left to pick. The last varietals typically to come into the winery are Cabernet Sauvignon and Petit Verdot. These two varietals take the longest length of time to ripen and thus come in last. Red wines are produced differently than white and rosé wines. Red grapes for red wines are harvested by hand or machine and distemmed into tank with the skin, seeds, and juice. Red wines get their color, tannins, and flavor from the whole grape, and red wines would not be the same if we only fermented the juice as we do in white and rosé wines. When red wines have completed fermentation, we drain the tank of the wine and then transfer the skins into the press. We then gently press the remaining volume being held in the skins. After a short settling time, the wine is transferred into barrel and malolactic bacteria is added to help facilitate the secondary fermentation of malic acid into lactic acid. It is this secondary fermentation that helps soften our red wines. Barrel aging is an integral part of red wine production, and in the next episode, we will start to discuss the amazing process of how barrels are made. And as always, remember to eat local, drink local, and always enjoy responsibly. Cheers.